Are you not entertained? Bringing down Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX with a six prize finale? Yo, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. It seems as if Inteleon VMAX just keeps getting better and better. And with Mew from Unbroken Bonds and its Bench Barrier ability rotating out of standard format on September 10th, the future is very bright for our lizard friend. And with new cards like Melanie and Rapid Strike Inteleon from Chilling Rain, Inteleon VMAX has a bunch of tools that make it a force to be reckoned with in the Pokemon TCG. Not only that, you can get almost everything you need for that Inteleon deck in this League Battle deck. An awesome product all around. We've got it available at fullgripgames.com. Definitely recommend scoping that out if you are a player just getting started in the game or looking to grow your collection. Fullgripgames.com is definitely the place for you. Now let's check out that Inteleon VMAX deck. Isn't it just beautiful? Four different Inteleon cards in the same deck. Of course, we've got Inteleon V and Inteleon VMAX from Rebel Clash. Inteleon VMAX is the main attacker in the deck with its max bullet attack for two water and a colorless energy. It does 160 damage, which two hit KOs almost all Pokemon VMAX, and then 60 additional damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and it's got the nice Hydro Snipe attack for just one water energy, does 60 damage, and you return an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon back to their hand. Inteleon pairs perfectly with, you know, more Inteleon. Inteleon Rapid Strike from Chilling Rain has got the quick shooting ability, which allows you to place two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon once during your turn. If you have three Rapid Strike Inteleon set up, that means you can place 60 damage on your opponent's board every single turn. So that bench damage really racks up quickly between max bullets and Rapid Strike Inteleon's quick shooting ability. And then we play one of the Shady Dealings Inteleon from Sword and Shield base set. Shady Dealings is phenomenal. It allows you to search your deck for two trainer cards when you evolve your Drizzile into Inteleon. A lot of times, a two trainer combo is just what you need to announce a game winning attack. And then Drizzile also has the Shady Dealings ability. Usually playing this many evolution Pokemon in a deck is a recipe for disaster because they're just difficult to set up, but this Drizzile actually helps you to set up because of its Shady Dealings ability, which gets you a trainer card out of the deck and puts it into your hand. And with Level Ball, which was reprinted in Battle Styles, we have tons of access to our Sobble and Drizzile in the deck. It really is a very fun and explosive deck to play. Check it out in action and let me know what do you think of Inteleon featuring Inteleon and yet another Inteleon in the comments below. Looks like I'm playing against Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. We've got a phenomenal opening hand here with three Sobble. My goodness, uh, this is busted, right? I can get all four Sobble out if I if I want to. It is all four, and I have four Drizzile in the deck, and I have all four Inteleon in the deck, so you bet, okay? We're getting all of these dudes out of the deck. I mean, look at this. Look at this powerful opening hand. My goodness. I'm going in with the full bench, turn one. <laughs> we unfortunately did not find an energy, but that's okay. I know my opponent can't really attack me for a lot of damage this next turn because they don't have any of their Houndoers in play. So, we're chilling. Next turn, we've got Marnie to attempt to find some more energy, some Drizzile. Try to protect ourselves from the single striker Shifu, which is getting powered up. Marnie hopefully will disrupt the hand a little bit. Maybe I can use escape rope to push a Sobble into the active position to try and buy some time so that I don't get smacked by a single striker Shifu V Max, as we do know. That single striker Shifu V Max is very capable of taking a gnarly one hit KO on an Inteleon V Max. 
kind of scary. It does base 270 damage with its G Max one blow attack. And that attack can be boosted even further with the assistance of single strike energy. Nice. You guys ready to see all these Drizzle come into play? I feel like you don't actually. I don't think it's correct to get all of the Drizzile, but I will get like two. Because you want to Marnie and then see some other cards. So I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to get maybe like a bucket or something. Right, because I could bucket. We'll get three. That way, if I draw into another Drizzile right off of the Marnie I do think it's probably incorrect to get all four and then Marnie because then you're giving yourself like a pretty high odds of of bricking off of the uh Marnie because we don't play any like to Denny's or Crobats or things like that so I'll attach an energy and then escape rope and I think We'll see who they push up. Right. They push up the Houndour. It doesn't really matter. A snipe shot can hit anybody. They do need, let's see, 270, 290. They could get two single strike energies onto the Urshifu VMAX next turn, right? Which would allow them to one hit KO a VMAX. It is possible for them to do that. So, it's a little bit sketchy, but we'll see. We could risk it and just say, you're not going to get both of these guys off of the draw. I think I'm going to throw up this Intellion and then Marty. Let's save the Sobble here. Yeah, force them to make a play. See, I told you. Here's the Drizzile. Right. We didn't want to do that. So let's put Paths to the Peak in play and then I kind of want to evolve this this turn and just go grab let's see we've got probably an Evolution Incense can get me both yeah, the Intellion. Give me the other Intellion. Cool. So we're going to get that. And then the big boy Intellion next turn can get me two trainer cards out of the deck, and then I'm just going to have all of these Intellion in play. We're saving this Evolution Incense for the Shady Dealings Intellion because I can get myself a Quick Ball and a Melanie so that I can charge up energy onto this thing if I want to, right? I can Melanie and Energy to the active, snipe shots, charge up this thing in the background. Could be a lot of fun. Oops, looks like they're gonna be targeting down my Inteleon V, sad. It's okay though. We are chilling. So we've got Inteleon here. And a level ball off the top doesn't really matter. I think that we just evolution incense, get ourselves this guy. And then the drawback of that is that you cannot attack. You can't use impact blow next turn, but you could evolve and then. So if I bounce that energy back, there's no way. Yeah, I think I'm going here. I think we're just gonna aim to bounce the energy back. Evolve this level ball just to fail. There's one evolution incense left in my deck. Okay. So we're going to do this and get that final evolution incense. And we're going to get a Marnie. We're going to go get a V Max out of the deck. And by bouncing that single strike energy back, I know that they can't one hit KO me. Soul Marnie now. I 
I could have grabbed a Melanie, I guess, since there is a water in my discard pile. Maybe that would have been better. But disrupting the hand also felt good. So now we start going in. Quick shooting. I think we'll go two on to the hound door. And then hide or snipe and bounce the single strike energy back. That's fine. I think probably instead of the Marnie, we should have gone with Melanie. Right, because then I could have had two energy on this thing this turn. But we are putting a lot of pressure on with our Inteleon. The problem is that this thing could be sus to deal with. If it evolves into the VMAX, most definitely. Right, uh, because they could impact blow for... Like 310, they would be 10 damage short of a knockout, potentially. Scroll of Scorn can allow them to attack this next turn if they don't have too much. And soften up this Inteleon V Max. I do have capture energy to go get myself another Inteleon V out of the deck. Hopefully, this next turn, get that kind of established and ready to go. Looks like they might not have a supporter for turn which would be nice. Use Tower of Darkness, draw some cards. Yeah, if they're stalled out for a turn and can't get these Houndor evolved up, then we can, if we top deck a Melanie, we're having a great time. All right, they're gonna boss up the Drizzile and Day-Day Change actually, which is interesting, right, because it makes it so that they can potentially G Max one below my Inteleon for game, which I don't like. Um I don't want to leave this Inteleon just up there. So I think I'm gonna throw this one up. Melanie off the top of the deck. Wow. Okay. So We'll capture energy, grab ourselves another Inteleon, and then Melanie. Okay, we found Air Balloon as well. It's quick shooting, knock that thing out, and we'll take a prize card. And then I can knock out this Hound Door as well. I do 160 damage. Makes it a little bit sus because if they have boss, they can finish off my Inteleon V Max. But I have to hit into this thing, I just have to. I think so that I can knock out the Hound Door as well. Seems correct. If I hit for one, if I hit for 60 and bounce on energy again. Then I don't take a knockout on the Hound Door, though. Right, which is also not good. I think. So my route to win is actually knocking out those guys. So all I have to do is. Max bullet, and then if I max bullet again, I think I just win, right? So what, we have 80 hit points? Yeah, so like if you leave this in the active, I win. So hitting the Dedenny was correct, because we're just trying to map out our path to five prizes, right? So, right, by hitting this or Shifu, now if they attack with this or Shifu, I win the game, right? If they don't bench a Mew from Unbroken Bonds. The Hound Doom doesn't matter. Because 
this thing can't one hit KO my Inteleon VMAX. So we're in a very good spot. And even though, you know, they could do a lot of damage to my Inteleon, they can't knock it out. I do have to find a boss's orders in order to win the game, though, which is a little bit sketch. Because they're going to swing in here, and then they could boss and finish off my Inteleon VMAX for game if I don't win. So I need a boss for game. Not a boss. Okay. Sad. We'll play this down. I've got Air Balloon here. You've got 80 hit points left. I can go... Attach here. What are you at? Do you have 110 hit points left? Okay. 110 hit points left. 80 hit points left. All right, quick shooting. Put you to 90 hit points left, so I have 60, do 100 spread there. Huh. So now you're at 100. 60, yeah, so I'm a little bit short. So I can do 40 over here. If I do 40 over here, it puts it to 50 left. And then I'd be 10 damage short. Yes, it's not good. So I think that the most bench damage I can do is 40. But if I send that up, yes, let's retreat here. Yes, I think that this is going to be correct. And then the 30 on the board matters most here. And they either have boss or they don't. We're hoping that they don't have boss for game on my Inteleon V Max. That'd be sick. If they do, then GG's. They got it. But if they don't have boss, then our Mew is doing what it needs to do. It doesn't look like they have boss. They have 60 health left here and 60 here. So, if they don't have boss this turn, I could win with a boss off the top of the deck. I have no boss in my discard pile currently. So, there are still two bosses orders at large. They can't take a knockout on this Mew with this guy. They can't come up with this guy or else they'll lose, so they have to pass. And that is GG's. Boss's orders off the top of the deck. Retreat. And we have got Max Bullet for game. Five prize turn. Let's go. Taking them all at once, Inteleon. Let's get it. I am... Uh, oh, let's go. Top deck Inteleon. Very good. We've got... An energy for my Inteleon. Oof. Do I want to? Yeah, I do. Three quick ball in the hand is very awkward. Awkward. Right, I think we actually... I could have quick balled away the energy that felt like not the best idea. I could quick ball away a quick ball and Drizzile. I feel like we actually quick ball away one Drizzile and then quick ball away the other quick ball. And then we get one Drizzile. We go for something like research, something like that. First, I'll quick ball away the other quick ball because we know that we're doing that. And then we see we have two other Drizzile in the deck, which is fine. And I only have three Sopple in the deck. So now we know it is correct to quick ball away the other Drizzile. 
which is good. So we'll get the Sobble. And then we can quick ball away the Drizzle because the other Sobble is prized anyway. So it's not really going to matter. Yeah, and we still got, now we got 3-3-4 three, three, in the deck. Great. So we'll slap both those guys down and pass. And we'll see what my opponent is playing. M they might be playing Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX. Looks like that's what they've got. The most powerful psychic deck in the history of the Pokemon trading card game, Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX, gallops into play with its ghostly mane and its fearsome leader, the deer Pokemon, with Triforce around its neck. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to see a Gengar and Mimikyu Tag Team GX use Horror House GX and stop us from playing cards for a turn so that Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX can take two turns in a row. That would be pretty epic. There's no way Calrex is a deer. That is a deer, bro. If it's not a deer, then what is it? All right, day day change. Six more cards in the hand, two Aurora energy in the discard pile. And a psychic energy. No energy attached yet. My opponent is going for that turn one Horror House GX at all costs. Six energy in the discard pile. There it is. Gengar and Mimikyu tag team GX with Aurora energy. I am not going to be able to play any cards from my turn, from my hand on this next turn. Excellent. That is very cool. All right, you go, Gengar and Mimikyu. Rock on, rock on. Got to pass it on back. Now we'll see if this Shadow Rider deck can accelerate a ton of energy into play. So that they have somewhere in the ballpark of five energy in play before I get to play my second turn of the game. Oh, this is a dream. Here we go. Energy retrieval. Two Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX in play. Now they're going to get to use Underworld Door, one of the most broken abilities ever printed in the history of the Pokemon trading card game. To accelerate their psychic energy into play and draw cards. Why it does both, only God knows. Yep. Here we go. Gengar and Mimikyu with a second energy attached. And a Marnie. Let's get it. Four more cards off the top of my deck. Ooh, a Drizzile. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now I could go for the attack with Inteleon VMAX this turn. Potentially, right? I got I don't have a water in the discard pile. Never mind. Poltergeist is going to take a knockout on my Mew. I don't want to necessarily give my opponent an energy back with the Inteleon VMAX. That seems sus. It does seem correct to send this guy up, though. So here we go. Now... I do need a, let's see. They've only got a four-card hand. They've got their Marshadow in the active spots. So it doesn't matter if I bump their stadium. They've already got Marshadow here. They had a lot of energy in the discard pile. Might not have an energy in their hand. I'm trying to think. Boss's order is probably not the play this turn. So we're going to go capture energy. And get ourselves another Sobble set up. Another Inteleon is good. Okay. And then I think I can afford to just throw that. So now their Marshadow's stuck. 
that could potentially knock it out with a Inteleon VMAX. We're going to evolve into Drizzile. Drizzile is going to get us potentially an Evolution Incense to go get Inteleon VMAX into play. That seems fine. And then Malice Dude's got a bunch of HP. I could gust up. That doesn't seem right. I think we just have to Marnie. Try to draw into some more cards. Okay. This is a good draw. So we've got Bucket and Quick Ball, so I can Melanie next turn. So we can do this. Get two energy. Quick Ball away one. Get another Sobble into the discard pile. Right. And can use Hydro Snipe. Ooh, I want to put this down. I think. Yeah. We could use Hydro Snipe to just bounce that Aurora energy back to the hand. And hope that they don't respond this turn. Right. That's the idea. They need to not knock out my Inteleon, but the fact that they're going to get to draw four cards this turn without playing a supporter is going to make that pretty feasible. In fact, if they had just Underworld Door both those energy onto Al Creamy, all they would need is a VMAX and one more energy. And I would be, uh, yeah, I'd be done. Because they've got the Aurora energy in their hand. So... Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 14, they're doing 180 damage, so not quite there yet, which is good. The swinging for not a knockout. Now, my only game plan here is to knock out both this guy and this guy. That's it. And we've got the path, so what I would like to do... Yeah, let's... Let's do that. We got another water energy. Which is good. I can knock out this guy. Making it so they can't underworld door anymore. Or I just swing in. Oh, I can't knock out that guy. Okay. So then I don't want to put the path down yet. We just max bullet. And put our damage there. Right. And then you've got 120 hit points left. I can't quite do it. It's not possible. And unfortunately, these guys are getting very big. So they're just building up. Some pretty serious one-hit KO damage potential, which I cannot very well deal with. The Alcremi is also ready to go. I've got the Max Geist. It's a situation like this, I would really want Reset Stamp. Right. I think maybe Reset Stamp is... A card we need to play. This is not great. Okay. So what can I even do in a situation like this, right? Yeah, I, I can't do any. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Can't gust anything. I just have to, if I gust this, but I can't. Yeah, it's not a knockout. So, I have to Melanie, right? And I don't find any other guys. So, it's not a great position for us. I think we pretty much can't win.
have to attach here and like retreat. I can't even leave it in the active position. And then if they just have boss's orders, it's going to be GG's. Well played. Well played. I'm feeling like uh, I'm ready to play some Gym Leader Challenge. What about you guys? Yeah, I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling on uh, chilling on playing against this deck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shadow Rider's just, it's too strong, I think. Frankly. It's it's a little too strong. We just have to play a dark deck. Every time you play against Shadow Rider, you immediately switch to GLC. True. All right, I got one prize remaining. To my literal six. Okay. Cool. Busted. All righty then. Okay, so we can knock out this guy. I can knock out this guy, but then I can't knock out any other guys. 369, 12, 15, 18, 21. 369, 12, 15, 18, 21. Ooh, actually. Yes, quick shooting. And then, uh, okay. Max Bullet. Mm hmm. <laughs> you don't say. Okay. Hopefully, they don't have boss again. That'd be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe they don't have it. Do I win? Did I just beat Shadow Rider Calrex V Max? Did we shake and bake? Did we get them right where we want them? Do they not have their win condition? Oh, please have mercy. Please have mercy. Please have mercy. Brace for impact. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. 28, chaotic smell. And? Marnie, no! I could get my boss, though. Okay. All right. Are you not entertained, chat? Are you not entertained? Bringing down Shadow Rider Calrex VMAX with a six prize finale? Skadoosh! <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's get it. The Inteleon deck is a ton of fun to play. I can't believe it's just. All Inteleon. It really is pretty wild. Just all Inteleon all the time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. I stream there every single day. If you're watching on YouTube, you're definitely missing out. We got a sweet community over there and we'd love you to be a part of it. Now have a busted day. Peace.